building with wood, straw and hemp. Bio-based materials are seeing ever more use in the construction sector, which needs to become more sustainable as it is one of the major sources of soil, air and water pollution. 40% of global raw material is consumed by the construction industry. 50% of CO2 emissions into the atmosphere come from the building sector, reports bioconstruction expert Paolo Ronchetti. Traditional building and insulation materials of mineral or synthetic origin are rarely recyclable. Biodegradable and from unlimited sources, bio-based materials also offer other advantages. Italy's Po Valley, Chiari near Brescia. Summers are terribly hot with high humidity. Winters are cold and damp. Humidity rules here. In 2015, Sara and her husband Mauro moved into their new hemp house with their child. I wrapped the whole structure up in this monoblock hemp envelope, avoiding thermal bridges, explains Mauro. Unlike what happens in homes with traditional polystyrene cladding, which doesn't let moisture out, hemp allows for good air exchange. In the past, industrial hemp was banned in many countries because it was associated with illegal marijuana, from which it differs as the psychoactive compound THC is present in proportions of below 0.2%. A thriving industry was consequently stopped. I had never heard about hemp houses, zero mold, zero moisture, and we're doing well, says Sara. The insulation is made with hemp shiv mixed with lime, which is the usual solution for this kind of building. But European researchers went even further. They developed a lighter but more rigid panel with improved thermal conductivity. Thanks to innovative bio-based binders, whose formula is still a secret, there's no need for lime. This solution has breakthrough potential in the building sector. Much, much stronger than you would get with hemp lime, which is a much more brittle material. And it, uh, it's a lower density, than hemp lime and it's uh, much more flexible in the, in the possibilities. The other innovation, a low density render and that's made up of this material which is also hemp shiv but it's very fine and this is mixed with lime but because it's so fine and because of the formulation of the lime you end up with a a render which is very high performance, very low thermal conductivity the researchers, who are working on the EU project called ISOBIO, are testing these and other innovations in different climates in Spain and in the UK. Their aim is to provide scalable solutions that are expected to enter the market by the end of the decade.